First at 10, a story Tulsans can't stop talking about, the statue planned for Crybaby Hill. Thank you for being here tonight. I'm Karen Larson. You know, a lot of people have an opinion about the one that city leaders chose, but until now, we haven't seen any of this competition. The city of Tulsa has released other submissions from artists for the Crybaby Hill statue. I'm 2 News Oklahoma's Braden Bates. This comes after weeks of residents asking to see the other submissions. We got those submissions and took them back into the community. I mean, that that is a history of Tulsa in a, in a statue versus what they originally proposed. This is the rendering they were looking at. Keith D'Alessandro and Lucas Daffrin were in a home next to where the statue will be. They say the hill is prominent, especially being so visible from Highway 75. It definitely will create some confusion to people driving through. Um, obviously, residents of the area will know, but, but, but somebody who's driving from Dallas to Kansas City or whatever, they, they'll drive by and just think it's a statue of a kid crying. When I did my first report in August, I spoke with artist Chris Wollard. He submitted a design for this proposal. We met back up Thursday. Now that we're getting a look at the other renderings. I don't think there's ever been this much interest in a piece of public art before, so I'm all for it. You know, I'm all for the, uh, I guess, the transparency. Wollard's always told me he never wanted to judge other artists' work, but he's happy his work as well as the other proposals are getting recognized, putting them up to the public's opinions. These proposals take a long time. You know, we, you've got to come up with a concept. You've got to come up with, you know, like a rendering, and, you know, you have to kind of figure out logistics, timeline, budget, all that kind of stuff. While the city shared these with us, it doesn't mean they're swaying from artist Ken Kelleher's selected design. This is where that statue is going to be. The city of Tulsa has held strong that they are going to move forward with the artists they've selected. In Tulsa, Braden Bates, 2 News, Oklahoma.